Welcome to Classic Game Room. Great things happen when you put machine guns and missile launchers onto vehicles, which is why I'm reviewing the first Twisted Metal on the Sony PlayStation, one of the most beloved vehicular combat series in history. Twisted Metal. While I don't think I could say it's the first vehicular combat game, it's certainly the most famous and perhaps the game that solidified vehicular combat as a genre. This is an early release on the Sony PlayStation from 1995, back when people were still trying to make sense of Sony's newfangled CD-based game console. So when watching this review, transport yourself back to 1995, unless you weren't born yet because that would be weird. By today's standards, Twisted Metal is a bit rough around the edges, as the original Twisted Metal developers tried to put a lot of stuff on screen at once. While it plays well enough, it does look like a mid-90s release on the PlayStation, pushing the little gray console to its limits, with urban environments filled with fire, graffiti, storefronts, urban decay, and burning vehicles. But at no point during the game will you ever take the time to admire it because you'll be busy shooting other vehicles. That's the entire point of the game. It's the year 2005, the future. And the Twisted Metal competition is about to begin. It's like Fight Club for cars. The first rule of Twisted Metal is don't talk about Fight Club because at no point in Fight Club could you run over people with a truck. You can enjoy the single-player campaign in Twisted Metal as you drive through the game with each of the lunatics in the competition, but I think the real reason this game became popular was because of the multiplayer. Back when multiplayer like this was fairly new, and Twisted Metal does it well with solid split-screen gameplay and some nice environments to destroy each other in. It's like GoldenEye with trucks, except this actually predates GoldenEye and it has that dark, dystopian, futuristic, cyberpunk feel which was new and popular back in 95. The Twisted Metal style has been copied by numerous games since this one, and there have been a lot of Twisted Metal sequels as well, including several on the original PlayStation, but the series has changed developer hands many times, so fans of the original will probably always claim this is the best one. There's 12 vehicles to choose from, each with their own thing. Like you would expect, they range from fast and weak to slow and extremely powerful. There's a few different environments, none of which are terribly easy on the eyes. But frankly, this is the kind of game that just benefits from the newest hardware. So if you've never played a Twisted Metal game, maybe you should start with the newest one on the PlayStation 3. Unless you want to go back to the beginning of this series and see what the developers really had in mind, in which case you want to play this one. Which can be found easily and affordably at your local used game store or on eBay, eBay is a bleep. It sold so well that it even made it to a PlayStation Greatest Hits Collection disc. So a big thanks to our friend Dean from California for sending this game to the show along with that great El Camino painting. If you love destroying things with heavily armed vehicles in the future of 2005, then you should play some Twisted Metal. There's a lot of games to choose from, but only one of them is the first. This one. Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal.